I would love to see adults having much more healthy conversations about games with their children. We often dismiss stuff that we're not familiar with or, or we're perhaps a bit afraid of if we've seen something negative in the media. And I really would like to see games becoming more of the family environment, part of the home life. Movies, books, museum visits have been used for decades in schools nowadays. But a discovery tour and video games in general are something that is quite new in terms of, of learning assets. The strength of these is that they're very immersive. That is quite unique. Uh, they allow for people to collaborate within each other. There's something that's, that is very strong with the video game industry that can be created and tailor-made especially for the classroom. There are a number of skills that support academic learning but are thought of often as soft skills or 21st century skills. But it turns out they're actually critical for learning and for performing in the uh, current work environment and certainly in future jobs. Those skills include collaboration, creativity, problem solving, uh, all the different, what we think of as soft skills that make you a good team member, that allow you to manage your time, that allow you to uh, coordinate resource allocation. And there are many games that request exactly that of the player. A game's the manifest creativity like nothing else. Uh, a game like Minecraft, where children are building these wonderful 3D architectural worlds, like digital Lego, sharing with their friends. I mean, who wouldn't want to become an architect of playing Lego? Games are simulations of real world events. If you play Roller Coaster Tycoon or any simulation, you're taking control of a management simulation. For me, games are way beyond entertainment. They are a fantastic learning experience without people understanding or recognizing that they're being taught. When a student um, plays a game, they get engaged with the media in a sense of um, interaction and connection to the content in a way that they wouldn't if they were passively watching a documentary or listening to the teacher. That leaning in approach to playing a game where a student is given that sense of agency, that develops a unique relationship with the content that engages a student and wants them to learn. When you have fun, when you have uh, uh, little missions, uh, when you have context in what you're doing, it's a better way, we think, to learn and, and memorize and, and better understand the context of things. I believe in the coming years, there's going to be more opportunities between Ubisoft and universities and education go into learning and make learning more fun and, and more uh, uh, useful and, and more memorable. The future of uh, learning will be much more about the kid exploring on his own or her own. But at the end of the day, the the world changed so much, the industry has changed so much that we can't teach as we, as we did 50 years ago. Because there's no point in continuing to teach children like robots because the robots are coming and they will not be able to compete with the real thing. So we have to teach our children how to think rather than how to learn by rote and regurgitate. I think learning will be more and more blended. I don't think games will ever replace teachers or uh, schools, I mean, we will need that. We need a specific place, specific space for dedicated for that, a specific time for that, and even professional educators and teachers, because there are many things that we will not, cannot teach everything through games. But still, more and more games will be part of this learning process. So part of the tools that we will offer to kids in order to empower them to learn by themselves.